and welcome back to my channel night owl collage i'm amber and today we're going to be making this um little journal insert we're going to do it four different ways um so i had a lot of fun with this so we've got the collage on the front cover and then we've got a pocket here a pocket here a pocket here um we flip this over another cover another pocket pocket and pocket um, and then we've got a hidden pocket here, but we're going to be doing, it won't always be like that. So I'll show you four different ways to do it. I'll show you the different ones. So this is the first one with the pocket on the side here. I've got like a, a little jar in here. Um, you can see the collage. How cute is that? Okay, so that's the first one, and then we've got one that is um, the same idea here. Um, this opens from this side, though. This side, pocket, pocket, and then the opening is up at the top here, so you can slip in like a little tag or something. So that's another one, and then. We've got this one. Well, we've got these openings here, the pockets. And then this is like kind of like a belly band, but it's not one that you would put down on your journal because you have the flip here. But you would put something in there that um, would be decorative, like, um, like a shaped journal card or a tag or something. So it kind of peeks out and um, is just kind of pretty and you could just stick it. Um, clip it in your journal or stick it in a pocket or something like that. So that's another one. And then the last one is this one that is a belly band that you would stick down. Okay, so you would um, glue this part down and then it opens oops, it's upside down. It opens like this with a pocket here. And then you've got the belly band here, but you've also got a secret little pocket down here. You want to hide a couple little notes in there no one knows you know how i love secret pockets and secret writing spaces and secret tuck spots and all these little secret little things they're just fun so we're going to get started on that um we will start with um the first one that i've done this basic one here so i've got some purples here so these two let's see which ones do i want to do okay so these are going to be these two pieces here in the middle okay so they're going to just go like this in the middle. so we need to score a quarter inch oh and these are um three inches by six inches so you can get um for eight eight of these strips out of 112 by 12 paper so that will make one and a half of these so you can make three of these with two sheets of 12 by 12. okay so we're going to score um a quarter inch from the edge I just think it's easier to score from this side so I'm scoring at this is three inches and I'm scoring at two and three quarters but it's just a quarter inch from the edge and then which one do I want to use this one same thing and it's easier if you use non-directional paper just so you don't have to like keep um, checking if everything's right okay so we're gonna fold this back oh here comes strawberry I wonder if she's gonna come say hi so we just folded that back So now we have two pieces with a quarter inch fold in them, okay? So we're gonna put one 
on this side. Okay. And the other one is gonna be on the opposite side, but they're gonna look the same here. Okay, they're gonna be exactly the same like this, but then you're gonna flip it this way. So it'll be opposite. So when you start out, they're the same. Okay, so we're going to make, oh, here comes Strawberry. She's gonna, she is gonna say hi to us today. Hi, Strawberry. So I'm just holding this on top. I'm flipping it over. And I'm going to, I'm gonna put the glue a little away from the edge because it tends, if you put it right on the edge, it tends to um, ooze over to the other side and then you get um, the pages sticking down and you get these ugly white spots. So we don't want to do that. So we're just going to make sure that's right up against the other sheet. And we're going to fold it over and glue it down. And this is a little longer, so we're just going to chop that off when we're done. Okay. And then do the same thing with this one. I'm just holding this right in the crease. And then we're doing up the glue just a little bit away from the edge. And if you want to ink, just um, ink before you do this stuff. It's, it's It'll probably be easier to do it that way because I haven't been inking. Okay, so now we have these two pieces that are the same. So I'm just going to flip this behind, okay? And depending on whether you want your pocket this way or this way is where you're going to glue. I want the pocket to be here, I think. Let's see, which one do I want the front? I think I want this to be the, no. <laughs> I think I want this to be the front. So this is gonna be um, the pocket here. So I'm gonna glue these three edges down, okay? So I'm gonna put my thumb here. Rachel taught me this. I'm gonna put the, your thumb on the side that oh strawberry don't get you got glue on your whisker oh no okay put glue on the side that you are <laughs> put your thumb on the side that you're not gluing strawberry is distracting me here so we're going to just glue and i'm going to put this a little bit above because i know i'm going to cut that off there Okay. Oh, strawberry, you got glue on your ear. Oh no. Yeah, I know. What's going on, strawberry? Hmm? Yeah? Okay. So now we have this and this, okay? So what, now we want to put the pocket on, but I want to cut this off first. So I'm just going to take my scissors, wherever I put them, and I'm just going to cut this excess off. Okay, well, I'm going to get a little bit more. Okay, so for the pocket, we're gonna open this up. And we're gonna fold this in half, this last piece here. So we're using five of these three by six strips. So 
So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in here and let me make sure that it is, it fits well. Yep. Okay. You might have to trim it if it's um, going to interfere with your folding. So now I'm going to just glue the sides here. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to glue this side with well, the two sides here. Okay, so that one folds nicely. I'm just going to use my bone folder here for a second. And this folds nicely. So now we have our pocket here. Our, I don't know what to call this. An insert with pockets. That's what I'm calling it. Journal insert with pockets. It's kind of a flip-flop thing. Flip-flop insert with pockets. That's what we're going to call it. So then we can decorate this, but we're going to just decorate one on camera, um, but not this one. So that's the first one, and we have our pocket here on the side. And then we will do this one with the top open. So I want... Let's see, how do I want this? This is going to be my middle part. And then this is going to be the flip flop part. And this is going to be my pocket. Okay. So five pieces. So I'm going to set these aside because they're going to be the middle part. And let's see, I want it to open from this side now. So I want it to open like this. So I'm going to score this side. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna score this side on both of them. So I'm gonna flip it this way because I like doing that better. Oh, sorry, strawberry. go a quarter inch from the edge okay now we're going to fold those over so this is pretty much the exact same thing as the first one except for where you glue but hopefully this will Seeing it a couple times will help you um, with the construction. So this one is going to be inserted here. Okay. And then this one is going to be inserted here. Okay. So I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to put glue just a little bit away from the edge. Make sure it's nice and tucked in there. Okay, so that's the front. And then we're going to glue this one. Strawberry's not going to take no for an answer. She wants her attention. Okay. So 
that is the back. Okay. So we've got opening here. Flip it over, opening here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take these two pieces and now we're going to glue these three sides so the top is open. Okay. So I'm going to hold my thumb where I don't want glue. And glue that right on top. nice and even okay and then we're gonna do our pocket so a little extra at the bottom I want to cut off so the pocket doesn't poke out too much let me fold it over okay so we're gonna open this up okay so we have our opening here at the top I'm gonna open that up and we're gonna put our pocket here. And I think I wanna keep, do I want, no, I wanna keep it on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna just fold this in half. And then we're gonna stick the pocket down here slide that on. I want to make sure that it's not too wide. It's not going to interfere with the fold. Okay. Push that in there nice and firmly. Open it up and then glue the sides. other two sides. Okay. So now we have our insert with the pocket at the top where we can put a cute little tag on there. Can put a cute little tag poking out right here maybe a little cute topper or something so that is cute and then we're gonna do this one that is the belly band now this is the same thing except you are just going to glue the top and the bottom Now this one, we are going to glue top and bottom. Top or bottom and top. for a second while we put the pocket in. So we're gonna just open this up. So now we have this belly band in here and the, um, <laughs> we got the flaps and the pockets. So this pocket looks like invisible, which I really like. I think that's pretty neat. That's kind of what I wanted to do. Um, but so there's like a hidden pocket there. 
and um, for the inside for these I had you know I had pockets here and here but you really can just do whatever you want on the inside so there's your belly band and now we're going to do the true belly band the one where you glue down okay Let's see, which way do I want to do this? I did this one with the purple on the outside, so I'll do this one with the flowers on the outside. So these are going to be um, the construction of the belly band here, but we're going to have them like this. They're not going to be wrong sides together. They're going to be like this, okay? So again, we're going to make um, score lines, but they're gonna be on opposite sides this time instead of the same side. So I'm going to make this one on the right-hand side and this one on the left-hand side. Again, fold those back. We're going to put place one of these on each side of this front piece so we're not gluing them on the back piece only on the front piece start with this one Strawberry, now is not the time for a bath. And then we're gonna glue this one on this side. stuff all over the place here. Oh, there goes Strawberry. She's all done. Okay. So now we want, this is going to be back here. And I'm going to put the pocket. Do I want? Let's see. I'm trying to decide. I think I still want the purple pocket. I might use this one because it matches this. This way. Okay, so we're going to cut this in half. Cut it at three inches. So we don't need this one for right now. So I'm going to glue this one on here, the three sides. We have our pocket here. Okay. 
Okay, so that is our inside pocket, and I think, yeah, that is a little. To cut that off. And this one. A little bit too wide. Okay. So that gives our inside pocket here. And then this is gonna be the back piece here. And we're going to make a pocket here, but we don't want it this high because if we, it'll be really difficult to pull something out of here if it's, if it's that high. So we're gonna make it um, half this size. So we're gonna make it one and a half inches. Sorry about that. So we're going to cut this one and a half inches and so this will be a small pocket here just to tuck a little secret note or some such thing in there Now we have a little pocket in there and we're going to glue this to the back of this on the top and the bottom. Okay. Okay, so now we have our belly band. So now we have all four, okay? So here's the original one with the pocket on the side. Then we have one with the pocket in the top, okay? Then we have one that is like a belly band in the insert kind of a faux belly band um, because you're not gluing it to the page and then this one is a true belly band that we are gluing to the page so we've got all four of these I had um, this one already made up that is the um, true belly band here and we're gonna decorate that one so I have four other ones to decorate later and I'll show you that at the end All right, I've gathered some things together to decorate this with, and I've got a couple ideas, but I'm not completely positive what I wanna do yet. Um, so I think I wanna start with this and put it on the edge here. I think if I put it on this edge, it would just, I mean, that would be cute, but it would just, it would, this wouldn't close nicely. I guess I could cut off. I think I just want to put it over here. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. How much do I need? About here. I've been waiting to use this purple lace. I would use it somewhere. All right. Let's make sure that's even. There we go. Push 
that down and let it dry a minute. Very cute, very cute. I like that. Okay, and then I wanted to use this on top, but I need some ink. Let's ink this up. There's a lot of ink on there. Okay. So I'm gonna glue that down. There we go. That's pretty. And I wanted this letter. Got this little envelope. Got this little envelope with a lavender poking out there. So I kind of wanted it like this and then the kitty right there. Just because, I don't think you'll be able to see this too well, but just because everything else is inked, I'm gonna ink the kitty. You will see it a little bit. Yeah, like that. Oh, I think I wanted to put these in here. Uh, I think that's too late now because I wanted to put it underneath these, but it's fine. Oops, it'll be all right. We'll put it somewhere else. So cute. I love it. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. This is the part I was kind of not sure I wanted what I wanted to do yet. So we're gonna come back to that. Um, and then I'm going to add this is a journal card I cut down from the Lavender and Violet kit. I'll ink that. And I'm using Seedless Preserves Distress Oxide. So I'm gonna, just, I could make that a pocket, but I don't think I'm going to this time. I think I'm just gonna glue it down. Cute, cute, cute. And then I'm gonna use this wreath and I'm gonna put the kitty, I use my X-Acto knife to cut out the middle of the wreath. And this kitty's gonna pop through, come right there. How cute is that? I love kittens. They're so adorable. Even though they are like toddlers, little children getting into everything. Okay. Glue his little ears down. And glue underneath this flower. Get this all nice and glued down. We don't want anything popping up. Okay. Now we can glue the whole wreath down. I'm really, really having a lot of fun bringing my um, version of collage into junk journaling. I'm just really enjoying it a lot. Just makes me happy. Makes my heart happy. Okay, we're gonna put this right there. Got our kitty. Okay, I'm gonna put next. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some just um, paper piecing collage over here. So I'm just going to cover up this white by doing some collage with these little pieces. These pieces came from the title page of my kit. So they're fun to play with and work with. They can be used for a lot of things. So I really, um, I kind of miniaturized the pages. So you get good images.
So you see this on my knuckle, this red spot? <laughs> that is actually from um, the VR virtual reality controller uh, because I hold it, you, you know, you usually hold it like this, but I hold it with a claw grip because of the game that I play. Um, you get better, uh, better accuracy and better scores if you hold it like that way. So the game I play is called Beat Saber. I don't know if any of you have heard of that, but um, it's actually... I love it so much because it's it's a lot of fun and it's actually helping me lose weight, which is amazing. Um, and it's just been a real blessing for me to um, have that game in my life because um, it has been really difficult to exercise with fibromyalgia. I can't everything hurts <laughs> so everything uh, that I try to do just hurts so this is like the one game the one activity the one exercise that I can do that doesn't aggravate my fibromyalgia I don't know if I told you guys this before but I feel like maybe I have or maybe I just told somebody else but that's what that's from is holding the um controller and the claw grip for Beat Saber. Um, I will have to show you guys sometime. Um, my Beat Saber play, like, because I do, um, I just started doing mixed reality, so it looks like I'm in the game, which is really fun. I told my husband, I was like, I want to be in the game! <laughs> so, he worked so hard to get that set up for me. I mean, it's like a, it, it was a pain to set up. It takes a lot of work um, and a lot of fiddling around, but um, it's almost uh, where I want it, but I will have to show you a video uh, of that sometime. Um, it's kind of funny, but I just wanted to be in the game so bad. <laughs> Uh, but it's fine. I just see everybody on uh, on YouTube uh, playing it, and I'm like, oh, they're in the game. And so, my husband made my birthday wish come true, so I get to be in the game. Okay, let me see. I want to put a tag on here. I think that one looks nice, but I want to cut off this black border. So yeah, uh, that red spot bugs me, but you know, I gotta get good scores. <laughs> I'm kind of competitive when it comes to games. We play a lot of games in our house. We get those um, really um, time consuming games with lots of pieces <laughs> that only nerds wanna play. Yeah, that's us. Well, we spend like fifty, seventy-five dollars on a game. Yeah, but one of our favorite games to play is called Wingspan, and it's actually um, a really beautifully designed game, um, and it's all about um, birds. And it's just a pleasure to play. Pretty relaxing and beautiful. And still competitive. <laughs> We're all pretty competitive in the family. At least me and my husband and my oldest son are the real competitors. Okay, let's see. Will I have enough to do this side? I don't know. Look, I've got like a little loop on there. I don't like that. Okay, 
I'm going to stick a couple of tags in here. I don't see a lot of people playing games, uh, board games much these days. I've always loved board games. A lot of people are just too busy or they're playing video games. I mean, we play video games too, but board games are very special to me anyway. Something me and my mom used to do a lot. Okay, there's one. And let's do this one. Okay, there's another tag. And then this looks blank. Uh, let's see. I wonder if we could. Yeah. That looks cute. But let's see how much I have left over here. Let's see. I have these pieces. I think I might have to do something different over here. Because I don't know. I don't want to print out another one again. Um, so we'll do something else on this side and I'll use this over here and I'm just gonna give this a tear here. I'm kind of itching to do a, a full collage right now. I might be doing a collage video soon because I'm just in the collage mood. All right, we'll stick that there. What should we stick in there? Hmm? Maybe I have these. Let's go with, let's go with this. We'll put a couple in there. There's one, maybe this one. So we got a couple of those in there. And then we've got to do something over here. Let's see. I'm thinking maybe put this because I could do this and I could put that. Yeah, I could do that. So I could try to find enough to collage this side. Okay, there we go. And then we can just add this to make a little tuck spot. So that will be very cute. Oh, ink, where'd that come from? Okay, I set. I must have set that on top of my ink pad. Let's get that off of there. That will be covered up, thank goodness. Okay, we'll cut this down. There we go. Now, what do we want to tuck in there? That's the question. Let me ink it so that um, the cut next to the letters isn't bothering me so much. All right, there we go. Stick that in there. Okay, last thing is this. I'm thinking maybe this looks cute. Maybe we can use this here that I was going to use on the front. Let's see. Do I like that or just do I just want it like this? I think I just want that. Yeah. It doesn't need much. just how it is. OK, 
Okay, let me just move this stuff out of the way. All right, guys, cute, right? Okay, so this is going to be, we gotta stick something in here. Oh, you know what? Okay, so I got my little secret, um, secret notes in here I showed you before. I think I showed you before, my little secret notes in the pocket. But now um, we can stick that journal card that was too big in here in the belly band. There we go. There. So now we've got our front, some pockets. I might add something here because it looks very plain. So I don't know what I want to add there yet, but uh, so we got pocket, 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 or pocket, pocket, tuck spot. And then we've got a little writing spot there and the front cover and our belly band. How cute is that? So these are the two that I have decorated so far. And I will try to decorate the others and put up a, um, put up photos at the end so you can see all of them decorated. And um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. And um, thanks for stopping by and watching. And I hope you have a great day, guys. Thank you.